close your eyes. Take a couple of long, deep in and out breaths. And notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Allow your attention to settle there. And then ask yourself if long breathing feels good. If it does, keep it up. If not, you can change. Try shorter, more shallow, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. Experiment for a while to see how you can bring the body and the mind into harmony. The body is always breathing, and the mind is always thinking. But those two things are not always in harmony. Sometimes the mind is thinking about all kinds of other things. Here's the time for it to settle down, to stay at home for a bit, the body and the mind to get together. That way the body has somebody to look after it, and the mind has a good place to stay. It's like a house. If the owner is out wandering around, goes back only every now and then, then all kinds of things can happen in the house. Pipes can break, mold can develop, pests can come in and take up residence. And there's no one to look after it. And as for the owner of the house, it's out there. The owner is out there subject to the rain, subject to the sun, subject to the cold and the hot weather. So the owner is in the house, he can look after the house, and the house has somebody to take care of it. Both sides benefit. It's called bringing them into harmony. We're getting ready for the Katina today. The Katina is an old ceremony where at the end of the rains retreat with the monks, we're getting ready to go off and wander in the forest. The Buddha had an arrangement where the, a group of monks could receive a gift of cloth and then make it into a robe that day. And then if they did, they would get certain benefits or certain rules that they could relax for the next four months. Now you think about those days, they didn't have sewing machines, so they had to stretch the cloth out on frames. In fact, that's what the word gitina means. It's a frame, like the frame for a quilting, quilting bee. And everybody had to pitch in and help. It was just the way that the older monks passed on their sewing skills to the younger monks. And everybody worked together. And over the centuries, it's gotten a lot more elaborate than that. Not only do you have to make a robe, but also people come together and decide it's a good time to make donations to the monastery in general. So many times you have lots of people coming. Before the pandemic, we had people, 400, 500, 6, 7, 800 people coming at a time. We had to feed them. We had to make sure everything was, was stayed in order. So it was a lot of work. And all, all it comes down to is harmony, everybody working together. There's nobody in charge. It's learning how to work together voluntarily. That's a great lesson, because that's how we get along together in life anyhow, is everybody voluntarily cooperates. And life goes a lot more smoothly. You see this outside, you see this inside. As I said, if the mind is cooperating with the body, the body is staying right here. But if the mind is traveling around the world several times in a few minutes, they're not in cooperation, they're not in harmony. When they're in harmony, they're together right here. You're fully aware of the present moment as you breathe in, as you breathe out. The body benefits, the mind benefits. So try to keep the sense of harmony inside going, and then it can spread out to harmony outside more easily. Sometimes we're told that Theravada is a selfish form of Buddhism where everybody's just looking out after themselves. But it wouldn't have survived this long if people weren't helping one another all along. And the Gaten is one way of one of the ways in which we help one another. So try to have that attitude of cooperation as you go through the day, setting things up. It really does become a meritorious occasion. The word merit, bunya, might be better described as goodness. It's an opportunity for everybody to display some goodness with their heart. Something that's so much lacking in our society today, but it's something we can produce from within. So let's produce as much as we can.